Hello everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I would like to share with you how I made this card, the Oracle. For the background we're going to be using our 6 inch square gel plate and for that I'm going to be using Elements Sahara as my base colour. Then I'm going to be using some brushos yellow, rose red, orange and then Prussian blue just to create our lovely background. I'm going to be using two hill masks, one for the bottom and then another one for the hills. And then I'm going to be using the small circle mask just to create our moon in the sky. For stamping with, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne, Rainforest and Twilight. And that's for all the stamping. I'm also going to use another Elements Inks Russet Orange and that's just to blend around our moon. Pusker pens. I'm going to use a yellow and an ivory one just to do some little details on the ground. A white gel pen just to do some highlights on the crow and the oracle. Glitter pens. A stardust glitter pen and a blue one just to do some dots onto her wings and on the the ground. I'm also going to be using a little bit of Pan Pastel Titanium White just to help to whiten our moon up. And at the end I'm going to use Liquid Pearls White Opal just to do the middle of the flowers and to give some texture to the card. For the stamps I'm going to be using, I'm using one of the crows from the set of three crows, the oracle. Embrace your dreams, this beautiful floral border stamp and then the single fairy thistle. But again, I'm only just using this top half to create some interest to the ground. So, let's get started. For my gel plate, I'm going to be using Element Sahara as my base colour. So with my brayer, I'm just now going to load that up and then brayer it onto my gel plate. I'm going to be using some brushes. So I've got yellow, Prussian blue, rose red and some orange. And with my brush, I'm just going to pick up the yellow first, take off the excess, and I'm just going to have that just going all the way over our gel plate. So we're just going to tap that over. And now I'm just going to concentrate on the left side, just building that up. Then I'm going to go to the orange, again just taking off the excess, and then we're just going to build that next to it. So we're just going to keep going up and down, just building it up. Then the rose red, which is roughly about the middle, just over halfway. And I'm just going to take off the excess and then I'm just going to build that up. And then I'm going to use the Prussian blue. So again, just taking off the excess and then we're just going to build this up on the right side. There. Then I'm going to go, still using the Prussian blue, just gently blend that into the red. Just going to clean my brush and then again going back to the rose red, taking off the excess and I'm just going to do a bit more of that red. Then to the orange Ah, 
and then I'm going to go to the yellow and I'm just going to build that top part up and I think I'm just going to put some of this yellow just at the right of our gel plate just along the very right side there move this away and then with my card I'm now just going to take a print so place it on then pr press it on just so that brush shows absorb into the card and we're just going to rub that all the way around just making sure we're picking up all of the print And there we have our background. And now I'm just going to give this a trim just by using my guillotine. Well, now that we've trimmed it, we just need to give it a dry. So now I've got a carrier sheet of the auric and of the words, and I'm just positioning to see where I want the words and auric to go and I'm just going to use a magnet to keep them into place and I'm just going to use one of the hill masks just to put into place and I'm just going to take those carrier sheets away and use the magnets for blending the ground I'm going to use Versafine Claire Shady Lane. So with my brush I'm just now going to blend this into place. So we're just going to build up now our ground. So we're just going to get this nicely blended. And have a look. Yep. Just a little bit more. There. And I think we're going to have another ground. We're just going to create some hills into the distance. So just using that same brush. I'm not going to pick up any more ink and I'm just going to gently build up these hills in the distance. I would just take a little bit more ink just to build those up. There. And I think I'm just going to go back to using that same hill mask and just work on just blending that up a little bit more so there. so we have our grounds and our mountains in the background and I'm just going to make sure that I've got enough room just to stamp the words and then stamp her and I'm just going to pop one of the crows from the set of three just on her cane so 
I'm just going to pick him up and again just using Versafine Claire not turn to stamp with. And then it's time to do the words. So I'm just going to pop this into place. And again, I'm just going to stamp this in Versafine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to ink this up and then stamp. going to be working on the ground now and I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Rainforest and I'm using this single fairy thistle and I'm just using the top half just to create some interest to our ground and I'm just going to use my finger and we're just going to stamp that just randomly over our card and we can also do some in second generation as well. So we're just building up a bit of interest. Now we need to do our moon or our sun. So I'm using the small circle mask and I'm just going to pop it up here. And I'm just going to use my magnet to keep it into place to blend with elements russet orange so I'm just going to pick that ink up just dab it onto my mat because it's very juicy take my magnet away and then I'm just slowly just going to gently get this started and work my way around so I'm just going to go all the way around just gently blending this nicely For the border stamp, I'm going to use Versafine Claire Twilight and I'm just going to ink that up. And then stamp it. And we're going to do that all the way round. So we've just got these four little corners to fill in. So I'm just going to place this onto acrylic block. And then I'm going to ink up this end. So I'm going to make sure they've got plenty of ink on. And then I'm just going to stamp in that corner just to fill that space up so again just inking that end up and then just stamping that there and it just blends nicely into the corners the last one just there. I'm going to use some watercolour pencils 
So I'm using these Brunzeal watercoloured ones and using the dark green. I'm now just going to do a bit of grounding just where the auric is standing. There. And then with some water, we're just going to blend that in nicely. So we just want to, with a brush and some water, just blend that all in. There. And then with a white gel pen, we can start to do the highlighting on her. So all I do is just follow and just blend it with a finger just so that you get that nice subtle highlight. There. A bit on her tummy and her arm. Top of her arm. And the face. You just keep building that up to get that nice gentle glow. And just turn the card around and just work on her hand. Yeah. Just do a bit more highlighting on her face. And then I'm going to work just on the crow. Just on the left side. So I'm just blending some of this in. There. And down the side of the cane. And then we can just follow some of the hair just to highlight it all. And then just using the Stardust glitter pen, we're now just going to gently add some sparkle to our wings. Just doing random loads of little dots just over those wings. And you can add a bit of sparkle into our hair and we'll just do a bit on the crow. And then using the silver gel pen, I'm just now just going to follow this around. And I think we'll just continue with some highlights on the crow. There. Just blending that with your finger. It just gives a nice bit of soft thing. And then with a blue glitter pen, I'm just now going to go over just where these dots are on the fairy thistles. So where the really strong ones are, I'm using the blue and then where it's the light ones, I'm going to use a different one. So we're just going to follow those just by doing those little dots. Then using the stardust just to do the light ones with. 
so they've just got a bit of sparkle and then with the black watercolour pencil I'm just going to create a bit more shadow just where the auric is standing and I'm just going to go a little bit just around these clumps these bits of grass here as well and we can just follow our ground line just to make that a bit more defined so So all the mats and layers are done now and it's just time to glue it to our card blank. So that's just going to go lovely just here. And you just want to create some little dots just randomly in like little clusters. There. So we're just going to go around and creating some little clusters. And I'm just using a yellow Pusca pen and doing some random, but I'm just doing them where we did the ivory dots and then just using the white Pusca pen we're just going to do the odd little white dots just around our moon and we can just make a few a little bit bigger and we can do some really tiny ones just to create a bit of interest yeah. and then the white gel pen we can just follow where some of these lines are from the fairy thistle just to give a little bit of white highlighting to So by just using a bit of pan pastel, just around one side of our moon or our sun. So I'm just going to blend that in just by one side. There. To finish the card off, I'm going to use white opal liquid pearls and I'm going to fill the flowers in with them so by just doing some little dots just in the middle of the flowers on the border And there we have the finished card with the floral border going all the way round and we used, if I can get it, some of those liquid pearls over the border. And the detail we did on the ground and the gentle highlights on the oracle and the crow. So thank you for joining me today. 
please take care and I hopefully will see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.